Air defense systems are deployed to safeguard a country's borders against imminent ballistic missile and aircraft attacks. The United States THAAD and Russia's S-400 are arguably the best all-around strategic SAM systems in operation today. However, it is important to remember that comparing one air defense system to another without considering the bigger picture of a particular battlefield is never a good idea. Nothing works on its own in a modern battlefield. Any given asset or system has a specific job to perform, and it collaborates with the larger network to achieve the goal. However, we would try to compare these systems in terms of speed, power, operational range, and radar capability in order to determine which air defense system is better. Number one, let's have a look at some specifications first. THAAD is an American anti-missile defense system, specifically designed to shoot down ballistic missiles in their terminal phase by intercepting with kinetic kill technology. The THAAD entered production in 2008. The cost of a single THAAD battery is around 900 million US dollars. A battery consists of at least six launcher vehicles, each equipped with eight missiles, two mobile tactical operation centers, and a ground-based radar. THAAD missiles can strike a ballistic missile 125 miles away with lightning speed of Mach 8.2. The service ceiling of a THAAD missile is 93 miles. On the other hand, S-400 is both anti-aircraft and anti-missile system developed in the 1990s as an upgrade of the S-300 family. It has been in service with the Russian Armed Forces since 2007. It uses the most advanced interceptors for its anti-ballistic missile role. S-400 is even capable to defend against stealth aircraft. As of today, the cost of single S-400 artillery battalion is around 550 million US dollars, which consists of nine launchers, 120 missiles, command and support vehicles. The system can hit a target 250 miles away with blistering speed of Mach 14. The service ceiling of an S-400 missile is 19 miles. Number two, a THAAD missile is powered by a single-stage rocket engine with thrust vectoring technology. The rocket motor is developed by Pratt & Whitney. The missile is also equipped with a separation motor, which assists in the separation of the kinetic kill vehicle. On the contrary, S-400s can fire a wide variety of missiles with varying ranges. The largest of these missiles are powered by the rocket engine. Number three, the THAAD is equipped with AN-TPY-2 ground-based radar for surveillance, threat classification, and tracking. The radar is X-band active, electronically scanned, array radar capable of detecting low RCS targets with better resolution. It can detect ballistic missile at range up to 2,900 miles. The radar has two operating modes, one to detect ballistic missiles, and another that can guide interceptors towards the missile threat. The radar system classifies the object as actual warhead, or decoy, by using complex computer algorithms. Once an object is classified as a threat, the radar automatically tracks its speed, trajectory, and passes it on to the THAAD missile. The radar can interoperate with Aegis and Patriot systems for tri-layered anti-missile defense. The THAAD is also supported by U.S. military surveillance satellites known as Brilliant Eyes. While the S-400 is supported by active, electronically scanned array radar featuring 3D surveillance and target tracking, the radar is mounted on an 8x8 vehicle, which provides excellent mobility. The radar can detect and track aircraft, cruise missiles, guided missiles, drones, and ballistic rockets within the distance of 373 miles. It can simultaneously track up to 300 targets. The radar is equipped with sensors for detection of stealth targets within 93-mile range. The radar is capable to detect ballistic missiles with RCS of 4.3 square feet within the distance of 143 miles. The system can detect a target with RCS of 43 square feet from range of 242 miles and sense a strategic bomber 254 miles away. The S-400 is also supported by high-altitude radar 
capable of tracking 100 targets simultaneously. The range of the high-altitude radar is classified. Number 4. The THAAD radar detects and tracks ballistic missile threats before it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. An interceptor missile is fired towards the enemy projectile in its terminal phase. The interceptor missile slams into the enemy missile, causing it to explode before it reaches its target by using kinetic kill technology. THAAD system boasts a range of 125 miles. It can intercept missiles at altitudes of up to 93 miles. A THAAD battery consists of at least six launcher vehicles, each equipped with eight missiles, two mobile tactical operations centers, and the ground-based radar. Any targets that slip to lower altitudes are intercepted by the Patriot defense system. As of today, THAAD system has maintained a 100% success rate over its last 16 intercept tests since inception. Similarly, S-400 radar detects and tracks the enemy projectile. It passes on the target data to the launcher. A gas system launches missiles from the launch tubes up to 98 feet into the air before the main engine kicks in. S-400 can destroy a target within the distance of 250 miles. A full S-400 system can be deployed within 15 minutes. The response time of S-400 is around 10 seconds and can simultaneously engage up to 80 targets. The service life of ground facilities and guided missiles are at least 20 years and 15 years respectively. Both systems have their own strengths and weaknesses. The Russians could certainly overwhelm THAAD in a concentrated attack, while the U.S. can do the same. However, the U.S. has a large number of stealth assets like B-2, F-22, and F-35. These stealth aircraft are specifically designed to penetrate and destroy enemy air defenses. In addition, data from all U.S. sensors, radars, and satellites are increasingly being networked and fused into a common picture of the enemy airspace. This data can be used to target the air defense systems with a huge number of stealth assets. Both systems would probably acquit themselves well, but in a real-time battlefield scenario, the scales are really tipped in one direction due to other factors as well. What do you think? Please let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget, like, share, and subscribe.